Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to use another feature in all-in-one WordPress migration and today we're going to be looking at the backups feature. Now why would you want to use the backups feature when you can use import? So as I showed in my other video with import you can upload the export file you created to basically restore your WordPress website. But what happens if maybe your internet's a little finicky or your web host is kind of bad and you have issues uploading the file from this form. Luckily, we have the backups feature with our plugin. So basically what we could do is create an export of our website and then upload it via FTP to the backups folder on our new website and then use this backup tool to restore it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what I mean. So we'll start by creating an export as usual and we're gonna download that and close. Now for this example we'll assume that we cannot import this into our new website. So here's our new website. We try to import this export we just created but it won't work. Maybe our host is really slow. So what we want is to use it as a backup. Now how do we get it to show up here? Very easily. We're gonna upload this file via FTP directly to the backups folder. So I'm already connected via FTP here and the backups folder is going to be in wp-content and right here this dash backups folder is where you want to go and we can simply drag and drop the export we created into there and let it show up let it upload to our host and we can confirm it's uploaded so we're good to go we can come back to our new wordpress website and refresh the backups page and there's the file we just uploaded and you don't want to click download download will let you download another copy of it, we want to click on restore. And this is, as, as I showed you with the export video, this is, oh, I'm sorry, the import video, this is going to let you know that this will overwrite your database, plugins, continue. And we're going to go ahead and let it restore. And then it will let you know that we have successfully restored the website. And as with the import, we have to set the permalink settings again. And a, course again we're gonna have to log in and hit save changes once and one more time and there you go you have successfully used the backup tool via FTP to restore your website 